guys, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another painting tutorial. Today, we are painting a scion of Corvus Corax himself. And, well, I'm very excited to do this one. It's another Black Space Marine. You've probably seen most of these techniques on the channel before, but it's always good to do more, isn't it? But I know a bunch of you have requested this, so let's not talk about it much longer. We've primed him in grace here, and we're gonna start work on all of that armor. And the color that we're gonna use first for that is Ultramarine's Blue, and that might sound weird, but what we're doing is we're using the Ultramarine's Blue as a pre-shade for our miniature, as well as to give it that bluish tone that we're after, that sort of clean black look that the Sons of Korax often sport. It's not kind of an industrial black or a dirty black or just a kind of plain black, it is very much a kind of clean, midnight, shiny black. So we're using this Ultramarine's Blue as our pre-shade, because this will change the overall tone of what happens when we put the Black Templar over the top. So we're just gonna go around like I'm doing here, trying to keep it as smooth as possible, but ultimately it doesn't matter too much if you get a few spotches and patches on this model as you're doing this stage, because we are gonna be going over it with black, which will cover up any of those mistakes. So just take your time. But don't worry too much, it's a little patchy in places.
ultramarines blue applied as you can see i've actually left the right hand pauldrons trim white well gross here and this is because well the raven guard display their company colors on their shoulder pad trim but they only do it on the right hand shoulder pad which is which is cool isn't it so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna layer over all of this uh, ultramarines blue and the color that we're gonna be using is black templar but we're also going to do it at the same time with this black templar he's going to paint in the soft joints in his armor as well so like that one there in his arms and his legs and his butt and his groin all these areas at the same time so we just want to as i say start covering over the top of all that ultramarines blue with the black templar as well and what you'll see is that the ultramarines blue has given us this really nice dark surface on which to paint the black templar and then when it kind of does its contrast thing around the around the edges they've got a blue tint to them which is perfect for what we're after with this clean black look you can see it there already working its magic so you just want to go around all of these areas with the Black Templar, much like I'm doing here. So with that done, you now have this lovely, gorgeous, dark black, clean black armor. Now don't worry about highlighting it just yet. We are gonna do all of that 
at the end. I'm going to do all of the highlights in one big highlighting party, as I am often want to say. So what we're going to do is going to move on and paint in a few more. Or in fact, we're actually going to move on and paint all of the base coats that are still remaining on this guy. So the first one that we're going to do is we're going to paint in all the leather details. And the color that we're going to use for this is Wildwood. We just want to take that Wildwood on our brush and start painting it all over these details. So these are areas like the little pouches and his belt and any holsters and things like that. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to paint in the trim on his right shoulder pad. Now, this is largely codex compliant for the Ra uh, Raven Guard. So if you wanted him to be a first company Raven Guard, it would be white. If it's second company, it would be gold. If it's third, it'll be red and so on and so forth. Now, the classic look is with obviously Chapter Master Shrike or Captain Shrike. And he was captain of the third company and he still retains that red edging on his pauldron. So we're going to do that. And so the color that we're going to be using is Blood Angels Red. What we want to do is we just want to take that Blood Angels Red on our brush. I'm going to pick a place to start. We want to get rid of this tiny little hair just here. Good. <laughs> and so what we're going to do is we're going to take this Blood Angels Red and we're just going to start painting this all the way along his shoulder pad trim like so. I'm going to make sure that we get that underside as well. Like that. And next up, we're going to use some thinned down Corax White. I'm going to use this to paint in the chapter livery on his shoulder guard. Like this. I want this to be nice and bright. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to work on his chest aquila. Now, there is some debate. <laughs> There's lots of debate in the Raven Guard chapter current colours. Some artwork shows that the aquila is white and a lot of the others show that it is silver. And a number of the products that you can see, so k Van Shrike and the Primaris Upgrade Sprue, they give you a silver a chest aquila. So that's what we're going to go with, but it is a brighter silver than the rest of the kind of working mechanics of the model. So the colour that we're going to use is Iron Hand Steel for the base. What we're going to do is we take that on our brush, like that, and we're just going to start painting this all over his chest aquila, like so. And next up, we're going to paint in that bolt rifle casing. So the bolt rifle casings for the Raven Guard are also quite dark. They are a kind of dark gray bordering black. So this is where actually Black Templar on its own is almost perfect. So what we are going to do is we are going to use Black Templar. We're going to use this to paint in the casing on that bolt rifle. 
just like this. And with that done, as you can see, we've got two very distinctly different looking blacks on this model. It looks really, really cool. So what we're now going to do is we're going to paint in the rest of those metallic details. And the color that we're going to be using is Iron Warriors. I'm going to use this to paint in all the working areas of the bolt gun. Don't worry about that Aquila there. We're going to do that in a different color, uh, which interestingly is not going to be gold. But you didn't see that coming. So we're going to do <laughs> get to all of these areas on the bolt gun. We're also going to do the vents on his backpack and the various mechanical things on his helmet, as well as the bolt pistol handle sticking out of his holster. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some apothecary white. I'm going to use this to paint in the Aquila on the gun. Like so. And we're also going to use this on the chapter icon as well. And with that done, it's now time to shade the miniature. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to shade his chest aquila. And the color that we're going to use for this is Griff Charger Gray. Giving it that bluish gray. Silver look. And with that done, we're now going to show you all the rest of the silver details, so the Iron Warriors areas that we did. And the colour that we're going to use for that is Basilicarlum Grey. And so with that all done, it's now time to highlight our Raven Guard Space Marine. And we're going to go all the way back to the beginning. We're going to start highlighting the armor. Now, the first color we're going to use is Rust Gray. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the black armor. We're not going to be highlighting the gun and we're not going to be highlighting the soft joints with this color. It's just the smooth armor panels that we want to start adding this Rust Gray to the edges like that.
And with that done, what we now want to do is we want to take a small amount of Fenrisian Grey. And we want to use this to add a small little spot height, highlight to all of the corners and all the sharpest edges around that armour. So we're not doing all of the armour. As I say, we're just doing those little edges like that. As you can see, I'm doing here. This is just to give it that impression of the light catching off of it. So for example, just here on the gorget, just on that edge. Like that. So you just want to go around picking out these areas and then we'll come back. And so with that done, what we now want to do is we're going to use a small amount of Corax white to highlight all of those white details. So areas like that quiller on the gun. And the sigil on his shoulder pad. And with that white highlighted, what we're now going to do is highlight that red. And the colour we're going to use for this is Wild Rider Red. And with that Wild Rider Red applied, what we now want to do is take some Iron Hand Steel. What we want to do is we want to, firstly, we want to highlight that Chester Quiller, basically just returning it to that Iron Hand Steel shade that we originally had before. We also want to use this Iron Hand Steel to colour in the raised parts on the soft details, like that. And we also want to highlight all of the Iron Warrior sections that we also painted in. Areas like that, sec those sections on the gun, his helmet, and his backpack. And with that done, what we now want to do is we want to take a small amount of Stormhost Silver. And we want to use this now to really just add a little bit of a highlight to that chest aquila. Just to give it some real vibrancy. Like that. And next up we want to use some Dawnstone. We're going to use this to highlight the top edge of the bolt gun casing. And just a little bit of a spot highlight. And the rest of it as well. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use a small amount of Fire Dragon Bright. This is going to be to colour in his eye lenses. We just want to put a nice wide line going down the middle of each, just leaving some of that black in the recess, like I've done there. And with that Fire Dragon Bright applied, we want to take a small amount of Blood Angels Red. Not very much at all. We just want to paint this over the top of that Fire Dragon Bright like that. And like that. And lastly, just to finish him off, we want to take a small dot of Corax White and put it in the top corner of the eye lens, like that. And all that's left to do is to finish off his base and as per usual, I recommend that you do his base in the same style as the rest of your army. And there we have it, our Raven Guard Intercessor is now complete, ready to perform his duties of subterfuge and sabotage, assassination and general tomfoolery in the enemy's lines. Uh, direct warfare is not one for the Raven Guard.
as this we all know. But this was a lot of fun to paint. It's a similar black scheme to the Death Watch, but it's slightly different in some places. And I think you'd agree it's very, very effective and captures that Raven Guardiness that we're all so very familiar with. If you enjoyed this one and you'd like to support me further, like these legends on the screen, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. And if you'd like to stay up to date, make sure to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.